Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. We have made it. It's Friday. <laughs> Look, my dress does this. And I can also like spin around in big circles. Yes. So I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna sit like this, like little house on the prairie. Literally or something. doing that before we went on the air. She was spinning around the studio. <laughs> like a little <laughs> teacup. Right. It was it was nice. It was yeah. nice. <laughs> All right. Or distracting. Hey, hey, you can turn your cell phone off today. Just turn it off. Forget the Zoom meetings. <laughs> But we're giving you a pass, right. apparently. It's National Day of Unplugging, which means you can put away your devices. Mm -hmm. At least they're, they're suggesting that you put away your devices for 24 hours. But if you can't do that, even do one hour. Even like, just one hour. One hour. Could you live without your phone for one hour, nope. Heather Abraham? No. You know, when when Frankie calls me out for being on my phone too much, I say, this is not, I'm not on here just posting videos of me twirling to social media. Although you will see that coming up. <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> no, no, I am managing our house on this device. Oh, you know, I am making well, that's phone good. calls. I'm looking up phone numbers. I'm sending emails. Well, I'm it's how checking. we live now, and it's yes. how many of us work now, too. So, yeah. like, stepping, I, we do not advise you to unplug today if you're expected on a Zoom call and, and your workplace is going to be sending you emails that you need to be checking. Can I tell like, you that I thought this would be comfortable, but now I feel like I'm side saddle on a horse and I've grown very <laughs> tired. Okay. You can out. readjust. <laughs> we'll, we'll continue talking without you. I thought that would be so <laughs> comfy, but it's not on this tiny chair. Uh, oh, we have to show you something. Speaking of uncomfortable. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so the Watt brothers, we all know them for the, the being super, super, what, superstars. That's yes, they are athletic superstars. Yes. So uh, <laughs> we saw this, this picture posted to TJ Watt's Twitter mm -hmm. page of him relaxing in a frozen lake. Now, does this look relaxing? I mean, I know it's mind over matter. Also, and like, wait, wait a minute. What? What are you saying? Well, I didn't notice this morning, but... Does he have, he has clothes on, right? Oh, I'm sure he has clothes on. I think, well, I, I would assume he has clothes on. I didn't mean to call that out, but there's a <laughs> monitor right by my face. I didn't see it before. Uh, all right. We're our producer, Corey, producer. Today Yes, says, he does. Yes, he has clothes on. Okay, so all there. Right. And that's not all. It's not just TJ. Oh, goodness. We got all the Watt brothers involved in this. We got all the Watt brothers in a frozen lake. <laughs> so here's Derek Watt. This is what he posted online. And, uh -huh. and he looks a little, uh, you can see his face. He looks a little like he's thinking, was this the smartest idea How ever? I can't get out because I'm frozen. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now what? Well, I mean, how do you get out? I mean, you have to lift yourself up, and I guess, you know, the know. ice is Safely. strong enough that you can pull yourself up out of that. But, but I mean, the whole idea of this, if you're wondering, why, why in the world are they doing this? Oh, there's this? JJ. Who <laughs> seems, is he the youngest? Because that looks like a pouting, a he, pouting younger he brother. He looks like he has the look on his face like, this wasn't my idea. I'm going along with this, but somebody this better explain to me why we're doing this. This is why I don't hang out with you guys on the Steelers. Because exactly. you get me into right. trouble like this. <laughs> you Steelers. Yeah. Uh, but apparently ice baths are supposed to soothe muscle soreness after intense training sessions. Now, not everyone takes an ice bath in the middle of a frozen lake. No. But that's why they posted it, because it was kind of, you know, unique. Uh, I know, you know, there's ice and there's heat when you're having, in, in, trying to treat it's an true, injury. Yeah. or true, I always go heat. I never ice anything. And that's probably not recommended. But to me, heat is so much more comforting than oh, ice yeah. on your body. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I do think the ice makes a difference, but sure, I, I'm, I'm sure right there with does. you. I would rather have a heating pad than be lowered into a pool of ice water. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah. No Even thanks. if it does help. All right. It was interesting, though. So thanks for sharing the pictures. To the water. All right. Brothers. We are going to move on to. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> we're going to move quickly to our Friday free for all <laughs> and answer the questions that you posted to our Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page. And we got a lot of great ones this week. And we're going to start with Maureen. Uh, she says, watching uh, you, Heather, and David, and wondering if you ever have lost control and laughed and could not stop. You seem to be so happy and enjoy your job. Well, that actually happened yesterday. Yeah. Funny you ask, Maureen. <laughs> Let's watch. <laughs> I saw Dave Sadowski down at the hospital the other day. Right. Let me tell you, she was having some work done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes you laugh and anyhow. Um, 
Let's talk about Juju, Juju Smith Schuster because he has a new training partner. <laughs> mumbled what's going on what i love in that moment is you know normally you bail me out i mean like we look out for each other yeah you know and if one of us is having trouble the other one jumps in like what it's, i was trying to say superstar a few moments ago yeah, exactly <laughs> but, but yesterday you you just watched me laughing clearly unable to even speak anymore yeah and you just stared at me <laughs> Yeah. Which I love, actually. Fun. It was a lot it was of fun. Like, what's happening to you, David, right here on television? You're coming unraveled. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, Maureen, thanks for asking about that so we could relive it again. Uh, Sean <laughs> says, What was your favorite? What are your favorite foods from high school? What were your favorite? Do you have one from high school? Like, specifically in, like well, in school? I don't remember, like, an in school cafeteria food that oh, I can I say that was like my. I remember there were two pizza places in Ford City there was the Fox's Pizza and the Pizzeria. And forgive me if there's another one that I don't remember, but those were the two, and I love both their pizzas. Uh -huh. So that's what I remember. What about you? Oh, mashed potato day. Lee Myers. My broadcasting right. uh, teacher there, he knows. In fact, anytime I visit Shaler, anytime I go back, he said, I'm sorry, it's not a mashed potato day. Like, and do, he, they, do they declare it like mashed potato day? No, or I they would just, declare it that. Oh, just, just because mashed potatoes on, were on the menu. They were just instant mashed potatoes, I'm sure. They weren't like hand peeled. It doesn't, cut you, up, you know cooked. what? It doesn't even matter. It makes you feel good. It's comfort food, mashed potatoes. I would eat potatoes morning, noon, and night if I could. <laughs> you, well, Honestly, yeah, I, I, I actually am kind of right there with you. I love them too. All right, um, where are we? Paula is asking, David, are you curious as to why your shoes are making noise and you will be returning them? This is what started the laughing yesterday. Shoes. No, it was my shoes. They were brand new shoes and they were making noise. Uh -huh. And so I, I, I don't know what the deal is. It's only my left foot that's making the noise. Uh -huh. So we're going to have to figure out what to do with the shoes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe as I wear them in, they'll quit making they'll noise. They'll quit making noise. Okay. Uh, I think I'm saying this right, Mar Mari, M-A-R-I, Mary, so. or Mari. maybe Mary, yep. I don't know. Uh, I really love when you tell us what special day it is today, like Sun's Day was yesterday, we celebrated that. Right. I'd really like to get a calendar like this, the National Day calendar. We yeah. had so much fun uh, talking with the National Day calendar guy, oh, he the was creator. A liar. The guy who's created and sort of assembled all these national days, but we want to show you the picture that you posted yesterday, uh, because this picture of Rocco on National <laughs> Sun's Day, I love this picture. It's just so cute. I got so many responses from people saying, you know, my kids did the same thing or it made them think back to when their kids were little doing the same thing. And it's so true. Someone else wrote this. You can buy your kids as many toys as you want and they will still pick up the craziest things to play with. The, the, the box. The like box, sometimes the box the, the toy wear. comes in is the most yeah. exciting thing. It's true. All right. Amy's asking, have you guys ever slept in because you have to be there so early? How many alarms do you have? I have one. Because I roll like that. You live on the edge. Yeah. Because when, <laughs> when does your alarm ring? When does your alarm ring? What time is it set? Um, well, it changes. It depends. Like sometimes I feel like your sleep changes. Like if your alarm isn't working, you set it back and forward. So it's anywhere between 2:15 and 2:30. Oh. I'm mine very is set tight. One forty-five. And I have three alarms on my phone and one on my nightstand. Well, do too. you hit snooze? Is oh, I hit snooze for a half hour. Well, and that's the thing. I don't yeah. hit snooze, so I get oh, up. You immediately get out of bed. I get out of bed today. Oh, I, I woke up that. at 2:29 before my alarm. I got up, and, and I'm very like strategic. Everything is boom, oh, boom, I know. boom. At boom, that boom. hour of the morning, you want every ounce of sleep you can get, so everything is strategic. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, Carly is asking, uh, are you ready for the cicadas? And this is a great question because she's not kidding about this. Uh, this is this, you know, every 17 years, this truly massive brood of cicadas arrives uh, in, in our area. It's mid Atlantic and Midwest, and that would be this year. Like we need something else, right? This is called Brood X. It actually has a name, uh, and so many people in Pennsylvania could see a lot of them uh, and also hear them. I mean, the hum they make. Yeah. Really loud, like 100 decibels. Uh, we're not sure if our area, Western Pennsylvania, is going to be hit hard by this. There's kind of conflicting maps, but tune in next week because we're going to talk to an expert on this and get a little bit more information. But Carly, thanks for bringing it up. So uh, I know that uh, cicadas, like the brood X, like that's a big year for them. Right. But I feel like we get them every year. They're just different. I know. I think yeah. we do. I, we are almost every year, right? Uh, but I think this is like a bumper crop. I Supposedly. hate this time of year because my husband will pick up the 
shells that they leave behind? Or what? Oh, they yeah. come out of those little things. Well, or is that when they're dead? I don't know. I don't know either. That's why we'll ask the expert but next week. But they get week. stuck and they're, they're kind of sticky. And so he'll just like stick them on things. And then you come around a corner where you're not and, expecting and he to scares see you. a cicada <laughs> carcass. And there it is. Okay. It's the worst well, time of year. So on Frank, the for Frankie's going to have a lot of fun this year, and oh. Heather will not. Um, not my, not my favorite. Not time. your favorite thing. No. All, right. All right, Ryan says, Heather and David, what was your favorite TV show as a little kid? What was yours? Do you remember? Is this him uh, too? Does he say that his was Arthur or Mr. Rogers? And right, Sesame right, and Sesame Street. And I, I, w I would say I watched Mr. Rogers. I mean, yeah. I watched Sesame Street too. It was really I'm the trying evening to remember. news, right? Well, that's the thing. It was the McNeil Air News Hour. No, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I watched everything. I did watch the news as a kid, though. I loved watching the news. What, what was about it you? about? Like as a child, what was it about the it news was, that it was It was like you? you know, these people knew everything that was going on, and they seemed to be having a good time when they talked to the weatherman. And I just, I really. I really just was drawn into it. I was like, oh my gosh, they're at the fire. Oh my gosh, they're talking about this. It just seemed like these Special. like Yeah, everything. They knew all of this stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, what about you? Uh, I don't know. It was probably Full House um, for me. But <laughs> I guess. A far more normal choice. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Ryan. Oh, oh okay. David, oh, we're going to address this for you. All right. All right. Why doesn't Heather open the door for David every now and then? All right. The, the answer is? The answer is I won't let her. Okay. I mean, like, really, we've talked about this before because we always think, you know, when we're walking in, we should change it up or something. And no, I always want to open the door for you because I feel like it's the the, the gallant thing to do, yeah. you know? Yeah, chivalry is not dead. No. And I'm <laughs> fully capable of opening a door. And if you have your hands full, if right. you're coming in and out of the That's studio. That's true. We, you have opened the door for me in various circumstances here at the just station. Just not on air. On air, for presentation, right. <laughs> you like to show. I open the door, yeah. Uh, but I have been called out on this before on social media that people like it when Mikey or Selena are filling in people don't think that I open up the door and I get so upset and hurt by this because we take turns so people so like when I'm not here so like because yeah. Mikey or Selena would probably be on the same side of the hallway well and that's, so do they open the door because that's where the door that's handle? where the door handle is so that's the thing like we've talked before on the show about sides of the bed like that's right. your side of the bed this, this is, is my, is my side, side, of side of the bed <laughs> and it's the same now goes for the hallway right. that's my side of the hallway <laughs> that's right. your side of right. the hallway and we never change sides so it's not like here at KDKA, we're all waiting to open the door for Heather <laughs> Abraham. Like wherever she goes, the we're like, queen oh, has some, arrived. someone must get the door for Heather Abraham. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where is her painting sofa? I, think, <laughs> I love that question, though. That's great, David. Thanks for asking that. I all right, Janine that it. <laughs> is asking, what book did you read in high school that changed you and that you still remember? Did you have a favorite book can from I, high school? Can I tell you, this was, uh, we read the play, uh, Cyrano de Bergiac. What, it, was it just called, what was it called? Uh, maybe that. I don't know. Corey, do you know? <laughs> Corey you says no. <laughs> Anyways, we, we were reading this play, and I remember we, our teacher wanted us to read it, and we started acting it out, and she got so mad at us. <laughs> But I don't know that that changed me. But it was that might have given we, a glimmer to your future life, though. We had it was the best class, English class I ever remember, and uh, so, anyways, that that was a whole lot of fun. I, I, I didn't change me, but I just that was the first. That was, thing I uh, of. It was memorable. Yeah. yeah, I remember, and I we actually featured her maybe two years ago. Mrs. Ramey, Ms. Ramey was yes, yeah. my twelfth grade English teacher, and I loved that class. I just loved it, and she had assigned us the summer before she. Assigned us a book to read, like, and it was Crime and Punishment, which is like 500 pages and all these Russian names. And what I remember about it, though, that I was so proud of myself, it really felt like the time that I really learned how to study, study, study. Because you had to, like, to map all these characters, you had to, like, draw little diagrams and do flow charts and just to understand what was happening in the book. And, you know, it's a great masterpiece, but that's what I remember. I, that's the book that. Wonder, comes to my mind first. I wonder how many bad students she had who were like, oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, I remember. Like, I wonder how many kids did not read. Oh, book. did not read Crime and Punishment? Like, found the cliff notes somewhere. I don't know. You're a good student, though. Well, I tried to be, yeah. But that's the book I remember. Anyhow.
We are out of time right now for asking or for answering questions, but we always appreciate your questions and we will do it again next Friday. It's so much fun. Yeah. Time now for a break so we can get started with today's show and we are excited to be in the kitchen with Mikey mm -hmm. as we wrap up Home Ec Week on PTL. Today Mikey has cleaning hacks for us and I hear one of them involves shaving cream. <laughs> uh -oh. So we're going to hear what that is all about coming up. And you'll want to stay with us for today's deal days. Great savings on Lenten meals and ice cream. And I know I'm hungry. It smells so good in it here. It does. We can smell the food from across the studio. Plus, today's adopt a pet is not a dog or a cat. It is a bunny. Look, find out why they make such good companions for life. We're going to meet Donnie, the Donnie. Pittsburgh bunny. That's uh, that's how he says his name, Donny. Ahead. Donnie must live down in Blanock. I think he does. Thanks for being with us on this Friday, March 5th, 2021, as we get ready to hop into the weekend. We are so glad you're here.